Artspace originally was founded in Dubai in 2003, and now uh, we've decided it's the right time to expand to London. So my partner, Maliha Tabari, and I decided to open here. Maliha opened Artspace in Dubai in 2003 when there weren't any art galleries. She was one of the first gallerists to open a gallery in Dubai and now we've decided it's the right time to pioneer Middle Eastern art into the Western market. London was the ideal spot, the ideal place. Um, first of all, we have a lot of clients based in London. Second of all, we wanted the, to give the artist the bridge between the East and the West. Every artist has a subject to talk about, especially like with the artists in the Middle East. I mean, right now we're going through a lot of like political situations and issues and all that. His name is Mohammed Abla. Uh, he's a very established, well-known artist. He's exhibited in the British Museum and has been the winner of the Alexandra Biennale Award. He considers himself to be one of the people. My name is Mohammed Abla. I'm an artist. I live in Cairo. That's my first solo show in London. Here I'm showing a different three groups of work. One, it's called My Family. The other, it is about politic. And the third one, it's about revolution. For Artspace London, the gallery is on two floors. On the top floor will be the featured artist. On the lower floor, will be uh, we will exhibit pieces by future exhibitors and future artists and pieces from our own collection. Artists are going to be showing more edgier work and work that have a statement and a message to say because the Western clientele want to see that. That's what they want to see. That's what they are interested in buying. They're not interested in buying something that's just, you know, colorful and pretty on to hang on the wall. They're more interested in the message, whether it's political or if it's something more than that.